everyone. Welcome back to my channel. This is Donnie and the mouse and you're watching Diamond Painting by Donnie. Today I am going to do my second sneak peek for the upcoming releases from Bella Art Diamonds that will be um, coming out Saturday, January 6th. I have the pleasure of showing you three of them and like I said this is my second one so this one is going to be called Cerulean Cerulean I can't read it's really small writing here's a bigger image of what this one looks like and if you know me you know how much I love my dragons and so I am super happy to be able to get a peek at this and show it to you guys. Uh, I recommend you go back to my first unboxing in these three unboxings if you want more detail on some of the box information. But we do have a sticker on the end so you can find it with ease when you, if you have, if you store them like I do on the shelf. I'm hoping my cat decides to get up and leave because he's kind of in the way. But here is part of your toolkit. It is one of the Bella Essential trays that they print in their other business, which is Bella Art de Nicole. And they have all sorts of different accessories there that you can go check out. They do have that information for their websites at the bottom of the canvas. And let's get into this one and take a look at what we got. This one is 60 by 61 centimeters. It is, uh, like I said, the name is Cerulean and it's by Nicolese Art. I think that's how you say her name. I really hope that's how you say it because I do not like mispronouncing people's names. And this one's kind of big. My table isn't as big as this diamond painting. So I will put up a full image here on the screen of what the diamond painting canvas looks like. And like I said, they have their information. Well, they have it at the bottom, but they also have it at the top here. And let's get this opened up. And you can see how it's kind of lumpy. That's no big deal. Those are just you know, air bubbles that can be easily taken care of. We've got a super thick plastic cover and I actually like to keep the cover. Um, you just use this cover when um, doing the kit because it is so nice and I don't need to worry about um, putting on any kind of other you know, parchment paper or whatever. There we go, see, nice and flat now. That's all you gotta do to get this, get those little air bubbles from it being rolled out. And I just dropped the uh, drills. I hope I can reach them. Um, here's our sticker page and our toolkit. So it's not as wide as I was imagining. Let's see, try to figure out Okay, this isn't how it goes. See, this is how it goes, like this. And you can see here that it has uh, 37 colors. One, two, three, four, five of which are AB. And uh, they, they work really hard to hand render these and to make sure their symbols are not gonna be confused with other symbols. So as you can see on here, number one through eight will be one through eight on the canvas as well. And then we've got some letters and some symbols. And you'll see most of them are uppercase letters. And once in a while they'll throw in a lowercase letter, but if they do that, they do not put the uppercase of equivalent. So you can see like there's a lowercase e, but you will not find an uppercase e. Which, but I don't see, you know, a problem there because they, they look so different. Uppercase E and lowercase E are so different. But 
we do have an uppercase F, so that could get confusing with the E, but they do a really good job to determine which symbols are used. Um, she spends a lot of time doing the hand rendering. And what I've dis what I've started to do with these is I cut out the picture here and put it in my journal because that's where I like to keep um, the most of the information for my diamond paintings. And as you can see on here, on this one, this was the previous one I just did the review on and it looks really good in the book here. And so I'll do that with this one as well. This one is a full drill square, drill square diamonds. And all of these stickers are um, individual stickers, so they can be used on whatever you decide to kit up into trays, into containers, baggies, whatnot. You can just, you know, put the sticker on it. And, and they make it really easy to just use the baggies because they're already kitted up into really nice thick baggies for you to um, use in your kit if you prefer to use you know, something where you don't have to transfer it and kit it up. You can just keep them in these bags and um, go use, go out of those baggies when you're working on it. But here's the colors. You can see there's a lot of black. It looks like there's one, two, three, four, five bags of 310. Yep, there is 310s. And here at the bottom, oh, you can see these beautiful AB colors. I'll pull them out here in a minute and show them to you. But, um, yeah, the, they also have a lot of blank ones, which if I do, like, if I do kit them up into, say, um, trays, like the ones that they sell on their uh, Bell Art de Nicole, then I'll put the sticker on the tray, and if there's just way too many drills, like for the black, I will... Um, use these extra stickers to keep uh write the 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 dmc number the symbol number and i'll put that on the baggie so i know what to go back to when i need to refill it so these extra stickers are always um i use them all the time so even on different kits that you know like i'll save them for other kits that don't have stickers so enough about that um we've got the tool the tray ugh, the toolkit here we've got our nine placer we've got our container with the blue wax there's three of them in here and when you take the plastic off of each side which is what you will need to do each one of these has plastic on both sides it will end up looking like this cuz i took the plastic off of the last one and so you'll have a little container with your blue wax completely in the container. And it has the lid so it doesn't dry out. I don't know um, if there's a difference. One's a dark blue, one's a light blue. And I actually do have um, extras. If people end up liking a certain color than others, I do carry them in my shop, which is um, drillpinfrenzy.com, but that's what we've got here is our wax. And then we have, we have a pair of, oh, the tip cover is not on this, so I gotta be very careful. We have a pair of extremely sharp, pointy black tweezers. These will come with square or round drill kits. And then we've got our six placer here. And we've got a random roll of washi tape, washi tapey, <laughs> washi tape. And this one's a pretty uh, chevron red and white design. And we have our drill pen which has a three placer on the end. And then we have our cover for the tweezers, which you're gonna wanna keep them on there. Um, just a little story here. I accidentally poked myself with one of those in my finger and it went pretty deep. It didn't really hurt, but it started turning red and it swelled up and it, 
uh, it did something. It was really weird because my finger went numb and everything. So just you, you very careful with these. I've stabbed myself so many times in different places that, you know, keeping this on here can avoid some of that, some of it, but not all. And here is the grippy, which is also known as a squishy pen grip. You just stick it on your pen for more comfort when drilling for long hours, like so. So that is the content of this, their toolkit here. Put them back in here for now, and we will show you the canvas and where these ABs are gonna be. So like I said, there's a, one, two, three, yeah, five different colors. A couple of them are blue. Um, but the direction that this diamond painting goes is like this. And you can see a little egg down here at the bottom. It's cerulean. I'm not sure what's, I thought that was a color. So maybe I'm, I'm guessing that's the name of this dragon. Um, but I'm going to pull this back to get this bottom half a little flatter so we can show you the canvas and show you where the ABs are going to be. That's my favorite part of these videos is, is finding where these uh, ABs are going to go. And sometimes it's kind of hard when you've got a lot of confetti to point out all the spots. So let's hope this one's not going to be too hard <laughs> to find where all those ABs are going to go. There we go. There we go. All right. So this is a, sh uh, hold on. I'm going to verify real quick what kind of canvas this is. Okay. It's called soft lint canvas. And so it is nice and soft and they do have the scalloped edges to keep the fraying. The scallop, not only scalloped edges, but the surging. That's what um, also helps from your canvas fraying and falling apart. So that's a really good feature to have. And their symbols are nice and clear. So I will show you that here now. Let's pull it up. And you can see those symbols, what they are. We got some weird ones this time, but they don't resemble any of the others. So you should still have no issue figuring out which one goes to what color. But the symbols, I mean, yeah, I have no issue seeing those nice and clear. And so I showed you the full scale of this diamond painting and this blue is just maybe that is the color the cerulean maybe it's cerulean blue and that's where they what they named the dragon I don't I'm not sure I don't know the history of this image but um, there is a lot of confetti going on here so square is best for me when we're doing confetti although there is a lot of color blocking here intermittent with some a lot of speckles so it's not true color blocking um, but it is partial color blocking and you've got that all the way around the dragon's head all the way up to the top there now in this bag of drills i'm going to pull out the ab drills you don't know what AB stands for. It stands for Aurora Borealis. And they name it that because they put this coating on the drills that shifts colors um, with the light. So when you see it at one angle, it could be a different color. And so it gives your diamond painting a zap of sparkle wherever those AB drills are. And they named it that because it reminds them of the Northern Lights, how they do the same thing. Okay, I'm look, trying to look. Number 33 is the first AB drill. So here we go. 
Oh boy, those are some big bags. There's some big bags of ABs in this one. So the first one we have is this orange. Look at that. Look how big that bag is and look how sparkly that is. You can see that coating on those drills. The closer I get, here we go. You can see that. Isn't that pretty? It looks kind of like pearls. And this one is going to be the, the arrow symbol that goes down and to the right. So let's see if I can figure out where those are going to be. Let me set these other ones down here. Uh, this, yeah, this is going to be an issue. Uh, so it's going to be mixed in pretty much um, down here in the gold. I'm, I'm guessing that's what this is, is the dragons on a bed of gold. And this is part of the, I think that's part of the drag. Yeah, these are the scales on the underbelly of the dragon, and you're going to see them uh, throughout on these. Uh, a little bit there. And you got more here. I'm not going to be able to point out every section because they're going to be in a lot of spaces. Uh, you've got it in the gold itself around in here. There's quite a bit of it down in here. Like I said, it's confettied. So there's going to be a lot of colors mixed in here, but there's going to be ABs mixed in throughout, throughout in here. And then we've got over in the gold here, we've got more of them. I believe, yep, the egg here has some. And we have a little bit more over here in this section of gold. And as we move up, I see a little bit on there. All right, sorry about that. I had to actually, my phone actually shut down on me because it was overheating. So I had to turn off my flash so you're going to see some shadowing going on. I'm terribly sorry. But um, I want to be able to get this video done for you guys. Um, I do see more of this AB color up through the scales. And the wings, yeah, there's a lot in the wings all the way up. So basically where you see see orange, there's going to be some of these uh, ABs. Uh, I don't see any right here in the neck, but it's in the scaling where you have the yellow, yellowish orange. Some of these, not that. Um, the dark, It's a darker symbol. So these here, that one, and these. And we've got more on the tips of the I don't know what you'd call that on the tip of his, on the back of his neck, but there's, yeah, there's more. I don't see any on this one, but there's a little bit on this one. So, yeah, it's everywhere, this beautiful orange color. And now the next one is another orange. It's, see, the first one was... 741 and this is 742 it's just a slight uh, lighter color of orange and there's those babies the, when the light shines on it you can see it a lot better so without the flash I can't get it to enhance those that coating but there's the ABs for that one and this is going to be symbol of oh, the picnic sideways picnic table and same with the check mark it's it's all over the place i see it it's down in here in the gold and we have it here on the underbelly and not there we've got it here in the gold over here the egg has it, so it's the lightest orange color that's going to be this one here. And I don't see it over here. So it's not as big of a bag, but not by much as the first one. I do find it here in the scales. And it's all over in the wings. So like this big section right there, that's all this color right here. 
And so it's going to be all in those wings and you're going to get it in here. You've got some of it on the neck and you've got it on the face, on his forehead, in his eye and here. So there's, um, this one's spread out all over the place too. You got it here and along the ridge here on the top of his neck. And then our next color is a blue. It's 995. And that is, that's the U-turn. So there's what it looks like. Oh, isn't that pretty? Oh, look at that. So our U-turn, we will start seeing it. Let's see. I don't see it here. Okay. I see some right there. They're kind of shrunken. They're in white. And try to see white, white symbol writing. For some reason, I can't see them very well when they're in white, the white writing. When I'm trying to find something, it's just like my eyes want to skip right over it. All right, here's more. There's one, two, three, four, five there. There's two there. Okay, there's a couple there. I'm seeing more now. Okay, so yeah, we've got it in here. It just doesn't seem... Okay, yeah, there's a lot more in here. I just didn't couldn't see them from my angle. But yeah, they're going to be in these scales here. And like I said, it's in white print. So I, you know, I'm, yeah, I'm just having difficulty having my eyes focus on them. Okay. But there is more over in here. Yeah. So the scales under the underbelly have them for sure. But, uh, I'm just looking more because of the fact that this is not a small bag of drills. So it's got to be elsewhere. And I did say it's white writing, right? Yeah. So it's there. I see it there. Okay, so here we go. The, it's in the neck, too. I can see a lot of it now. Here in the neck. Like I said, it's just hard for me to get my eye to focus on it. it from far away, it kind of looks like a P. But it's actually the U-turn the arrow. So it's a lot of it oh, going to be up in here. And... I'm looking for peas now because, yeah, yeah. And then you got more here going on down in here. Okay, that, that scared me for a minute. It was just my eyes. My glasses actually need a new prescription. It's pretty bad. <laughs> Don't turn 50, guys. Uh, okay, the next one is another blue color. I like blue. These I love all these blues. They're the light blues that are really pretty. And this is going to be symbol. Oh, some people call it a, a side boob, but I don't know what else to call it now that somebody mentioned that. I can't, I can't unhear that, <laughs> but it, it's in the egg uh, quite a bit. And yeah, it's going to be in the leg and over in here. So it's because these are scales, things are go, go in like a circular motion and then they're centered around some the, the color in the middle. So we've got more of the this symbol going on in here. Same with the previous blue color. And 
let's see, do we have it up in here too? Yes, in the face. You've got it on the neck and in the spike, spiky area where there's the blue up here on top of his neck. See it there? I love this, this blue veining. That looks so cool. But I don't think this color is part of that. Um, no, it's not. I turned off my sound, so I don't know how I'm getting sound coming in. Oh, it came back on. All right. Okay, so one last color. It's another blue. And it's 3842AB. And that's going to be the Mercedes symbol is what I call it. Because it looks like the Mercedes symbol. It's like a kind of a three-pointed star. And it's a darker blue. And here's what you get. Look at all that. Look at all that shine. So pretty. And we will find those. I have a feeling they're going to be in a specific area. Let's see if I can find them. Hmm. See, this is not something I can prepare myself for because I don't look at the canvas until I show it to you guys. And so I can't find where they're going to be ahead of time. All right, I finally found them. And I also found more of those U-turn sim symbols. The U-turn, they've got more of the U-turns up here, the lighter blues up in the black. There's a lot of speckles. If you can see, there's a lot of blue speckles here, see? And they've got the Mercedes symbol. You can see right there. And the U-turn symbol. So all of those are going to be AB. And I believe that's the only place you're going to find the Mercedes symbol. Because I did look for a long time. And um, finally found them when I thought to look over here in the black. And so there's quite a bit. You can see how much is speckled throughout the entire black area. So that's where you're going to get all your... Um, blue ABs for those two colors. Well, plus the U-turn is elsewhere in the dragon. But as far as the colors go, there's 37 total colors. They're pretty, um, most, you know, blacks and blues and a little bit of reds for the gold and the dragon. I'll just show you, you know, right here what we got lots of black 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 and more black and they're already in baggies so if you like to work out of baggies it's perfectly set up if you don't maybe you'll try working out of baggies um, with one of these kits um, myself I'm still on the fence what how I'm gonna um, kit it up but uh, either way it's got, it's got a lot of confetti, so I'm intimidated by confetti if, unless I have everything in, um, trays already, like in the Bella Towers. So that would be my choice of kidding it up would be in the towers. So I don't have to constantly be putting drills back. And that's what I prefer when I do confetti. So, um, if you've made it all the way to the end of this video, please leave me a comment uh, sent, you know, with the word, a sentence, a comment with the word, um, what was I going to say? Um, uh, gold in, with, in the sentence, not just, don't, I, not, don't just give me a comment that says gold, you know, just, you know, make a sentence or something that has the word gold in it. And I'll know that you made it to the end of this video and you watched the full thing. And I completely appreciate it. Thank you to Bella art diamonds for sending me these kits to show you guys and let me know out of the ones that you've seen so far for the sneak peeks which one you think that you like the most and that you plan to purchase um 
yeah, leave your comments down below. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't. That way you will be notified of when I um, do post new videos, which I'm trying to get back into doing it again. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Be looking for the third unboxing that I'm going to be doing for Bella Art Diamonds. And I will see you in the next video. Have fun diamond painting and don't forget to always sparkle wherever you go and whatever you do. So take care, everyone. Bye.